What's up guys, welcome to your 13th Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make something called a list box and a list box is pretty much just a list and it has the uh, scroll arrow to the up and down to the right of it it's kind of like when you're filling out forms on a website and it says pick your state and then it gives you that huge list that's what this is so before we make a list box we actually need a list and I'm going to name mine my list so let's go ahead and this doesn't have anything to do with WX this is just a regular Python list so let's populate it with some items um, let's say we're going to the grocery store and we need a grocery list so we're gonna get beef um, tuna um, some coconuts and I spelled that wrong you should too um, more beef and let's see one other thing one other thing uh, cereal and we should put that in quotes that took me an awful long time to think of cereal that's embarrassing but anyways now let's get the fun WX stuff now in order to make a list box a list box is pretty much a container to hold your list so let's go ahead and name that cunt for container and let's go ahead and put WX dot list box and let's go ahead and fill these parameters in the first one is the parent which is panel of course next one is the ID which I'm gonna set the negative one you can give it any number you want the next is the position and put it somewhere like 20 20 10 10 30 30 um, not important after this is the size of your list box and I'm gonna make mine 80 by 60 tall and this should be tall enough I don't want to make it too tall or you're not going to be able to see the arrows which I'm going to show you guys in a little bit after this you need to write alright you got this container what list do you want to put in it well we have this list right set up called my list so I'm going to put that and that is the let's see one two three four fifth parameter and the sixth parameter is a style and that's in this case I'm going to use WX um, period LB underscore single and this means that you can only have um, a single um, option selected at once so you can't select tuna and more beef you can only select one so next um, we got our list but there's one other thing I want to teach you guys in order to set a default selection you need to use the built-in method set selection and then you can go ahead and set your selection by default and I'm gonna set mine to three and it's gonna be zero one two three and it's gonna be more beef is gonna be selected by default and remember whenever you're making list same with an array the first value is zero and then it goes one two three not one two three so that's why more beef instead of coconuts is gonna have a default selection so let's go ahead and run this hopefully we don't get any errors and as you can see more beef is selected and this is of course um, a list box let me get this out of the way and let me try to one more time there we go so again in order to make this first we need a list and this is you should know this if you know Python um, next you need to make a list box object I named mine cut for container um, no other reason and of course the panel the position is 20 20 this is 80 by 60 tall my list is inside it and look this WXLB single this means that you can only select one of these at once that's what you usually want to have and of course the default selection is just as soon as the program starts up what value is selected by default so that's your quick tutorial on how to make a list box uh, play around with that and hopefully when you learn this you're ready to move on to my next tutorial so thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time